Welcome back to the Mills Way channel. Yes, I'm here practicing my golf game. Is your home finances like this Medicus driver? This Medicus driver is nice. It breaks if you're swinging wrong. Well, how do you know if your home finances is broken like this driver is? One way you know is at the end of the month, you don't have any money in your account. Another way you know is your credit card debt is increasing month after month. Your minimum payments get larger and larger each month. You have no money saved for retirement. So what are you gonna do? What's your plan? Some people say, well, I just won't pay my bills anymore and I'll file bankruptcy. Well, myself, that's never been an option. I've never thought of that before. I've always worked hard to pay off my debt. Yet had businesses fail. Well, learned a lesson. I've got the debt from the business, I gotta pay it off. So, that's life to me. But one thing I can control is my own home expenses, my own home budget. I challenge people to treat their home expenses just like they would at a business. With, if you have a business, you have employees, you have rent, you have utilities, etc. Advertising. You have a lot of expenses running a business. Same thing as running your home. So if, if you have a business and you spend more money than you bring in, you don't have a profit. You're losing money. You may not be able to pay yourself. Eventually, you're not going to be in business long. Same with your home expenses and home income. You need to spend less than you spend each month. So what can we do? Well, there's several things we can do on our home expenses, but we need to have a plan. We need to track our expenses to know where we're going. What's our goals? Have a budget. What's our goals for expenses? We need to save some money on the side, reserves, for future expenses that maybe you pay your car payment once a year, taxes for your car once a year, uh, homeowners or renters insurance once a year, fall clothes, spring clothes, maybe unexpected car repair, have some money in reserves for those type of expenses too. Plus, we all want to retire someday. We should have reserves for that. Now, I'm not a financial planner. I'm not trying to give you financial advice. I like to help people. I'm a consultant for businesses and for people. People can hire me to help them with their home expenses, help them with their public speaking, help them with their home business, whatever it is. But what can you do? You could go out and get a financial planner, which I recommend. Or you can take a look at your own expenses. Is the stuff you bought last month stuff you want or need? For instance, this, this Medicus driver. Now, I bought this last month, but it's broken. No, I didn't swing wrong. But this is a want, not a need. I didn't need this club, but I wanted it because I'm going to be on the Golf Central Golf Tour next year. And I want to be able to work on my golf game during this winter. But take a look at the things you buy. Did you really need that new pair of blue jeans when you have three or four other pair in your closet that work fine? Did you need that new pair of shoes? the new purse, whatever it is, take a look and ask yourself, did I really need that? Did I need that new couch? Did I need that new TV? Or would that other one last another year? Something to think about. 
Now it's good that you know you work hard. And it's good to treat yourself once in a while, but have that in your budget. Have a little slush fund where you can buy those things you want. I've helped people that were paying over $100 a month for gym memberships, but they were only going, if they were lucky, four or five times a month. Why not work out at home? I've worked out at home now for the last six years. Think of all the money I've saved by working out at home. I have invested in my weights at home probably $100. Well, if I spend $100 a month, that's $1,200 a year times six years, that's $7,200 that I've saved. So take a look at what you're spending money on. Cable TV. Do you really watch all the channels? Do you have HBO you're currently paying for? Do you really watch it that much? Shoot, now you can rent movies for a dollar at the Redbox. So think about what you're spending your money on. Your cell phone plan. Do you really need that many minutes? How many minutes are you using each month? And then if you do have a credit card, what kind of fees are you paying on your credit card? Could you get another credit card with a lower interest rate? Could you transfer that money to a zero interest card till it's paid off? Just things to think about. And then even look at your credit card statement each month. If you're using a credit card, which everybody has different opinions on credit cards. But if you are, take a look at seeing what you're getting charged. Maybe sometimes you get charged for something that you didn't buy. You didn't authorize. So a lot of different things to look at. So I encourage everyone if you can't afford a financial planner, to start doing it yourself. Work on spending less money than you're bringing in. Also, have a reserve fund. Also, start saving for retirement. I want to have a, other videos on retirement and creating income and helping your businesses grow and helping yourself grow. So I don't want to get into detail on that right now. I just want to help you get your finances in line. It's fall here in Minnesota right now. Before we know it's Christmas time. What happens at Christmas time? We want to buy gifts for the loved ones. That's another big expense. So have you saved money during the year for Christmas gifts? All things to think about. So I hope you liked this video. Please check out my website, millsway.com. Feel free to donate to millsway.com or check out my videos, my CDs that I'm selling, especially golfers. I got a good line of golf self-hypnosis CDs or losing weight or to stop smoking, etc. If anybody's looking for a consultant or speaker, contact me also. So, Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bruce from millsway.com.